Rajab is a sacred month and it was regarded a sacred month even prior to the prophethood of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The tribes, different tribes in the Arab lands, they would go on war with each other on small, small, simple, simple things. And the wars would last for years. But when it would, when it, it would be the month of Rajab, they would call it off. They would call it the month of mercy. They would drop their weapons. And it so happened that after prophethood, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted one of the greatest miracles to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the month of Rajab, which made Nabi Akareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stand out from all other prophets. We were discussing the miracles of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which date did this happen? In there, there's various opinions. And putting all the different ahadith and opinions together, we cannot say definitely one specific date that definitely on this day it happened, but however, it was in the month of Rajab. In this month, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was taken to the journey of the seven heavens. When Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was resting in the haram, and there comes Jibreel alayhi salam. And in one narration it is mentioned that Jibreel alayhi salam, while Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa was resting, woke him up and says, we have to go. Some say the Prophet ﷺ was praying. And when Jibreel alayhi salam said we had to go, he came with an animal that was not larger than a horse, not smaller than a donkey, and white in color. In these days we can say a conveyance, because that is our medium of transport. But how fast it travels. They say the light of the sun reaches us in eight seconds or eight minutes. Despite its distance, it's reaching us so quickly. So this conveyance that Jibreel alayhi salam brought for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam would travel faster than that. Now someone might say that scientifically this is not correct because if a human being would sit in this conveyance and it travels at that speed, they would perish, they would burn to ashes, etc, etc. That is our reasoning. That is our logic. That is because science has not advanced to that age yet. Science hasn't reached that age where human can actually travel at the speed of light. We're still backwards in life. No matter how far we think we have reached in technology, etc., we're still backwards compared to what Allah Ta'ala had kept for us in Jannah, and compared to what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had given Sulaiman Alayhi Salaam, compared to what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had given Anbiya Alayhi Salaam and the various Prophets. So on the occasion of Mi'raj, this conveyance was brought. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mounted on it. It comes in one narration that it started shivering and shaking. In one narration said he started stepping forward and backwards. So Jibreel alayhi salam held it and said that don't you know, stand still, don't you know who has mounted upon you? It is the beloved of Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, then it stood still. Jibreel alayhi salam mounted on it as well and they moved. Where did they go? To Masjid al-Aqsa in Palestine. Within a split second we can say, the journey was so quick that they reached Masjid al-Aqsa in the same night. And all the Anbiya alayhi salam, their souls and themselves, they were present. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was uncertain what to do. Jibreel alayhi salam held the hand of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and pushed him forward and told him to lead the salah. The two rakats of salah that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led Anbiya alayhi salam. Thereafter, Jibreel alayhi salam asked that, O Prophet of Allah, do you know who are these souls? Do you know who are these people that were standing behind you? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, O Jibreel, please tell me. He says, these were all the Anbiya alayhi salam and all the Prophets before you. 
approximately scholars say 124,000 up to 200,000 Anbiya alayhi salam Allah Ta'ala sent on earth to guide humanity and mankind. All of them were present. This was a sign and this was an indication from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that who is the leader of humanity? None other than Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it, it is mentioned that it was a specific spot where the buraq was tied and thereafter the ascension took place into the heavens. That is why today when you read lit, uh, news articles and magazines etc, you will find out good magazines, don't just read any magazine. So you will find out that people write that the way to the heavens is in Jerusalem. Why do they say that? Because they have studied Islam. They have studied the Mi'raj of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they say if you want to go into space, the fastest mode or the fastest uh, place to travel from is Jerusalem. And these days there have already been plans been developed to make that place, you know, uh, a place where uh, spaceships can be shot into the skies. But nevertheless, that's besides the point. The, the fact that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was then taken to the heavens, then what happened in the heavens, my time doesn't allow me. I came late today. I had a few things to sort out. But inshallah, next week we will continue. But from this we come to find out, number one, the significance of the month of Rajab. Number two is that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Sha'ban wa balighna Ramadan. That O oh Allah bless us in the month of Rajab and Sha'ban and grant us the and grant us the favor of witnessing the month of Ramadan.